All right, today we're going to be talking about how to solve for minimums and maximums. And to start off, you look at this number right here, and or this variable right here, x squared. If it's positive, that means the parabola is going to open up, like so. And you'll have a, a point down here that is your minimum. However, if this number had been negative, like negative x squared, the, the parabola would look like this, and it would go downwards, and you'd have, this would be your maximum, okay? So if basically, if this number's positive, it's gonna be open up and be an open parabola going up. If it's a negative x, it's gonna go down, and you're gonna have a maximum. All right, so we have x squared here, and this value, just so we are clear, this is the A, the six is the B, and this number right here, this three is the C. And to find the vertex, the first thing we have to do um, is do negative B over two A. And that's gonna give us the X value of the minimum value. So we know that B is six, so we're gonna put in negative six, because it's always the opposite, so negative six for B. And it's going to be over two times a. And there's no whenever there's no number in front of the co, whenever there's no coefficient, you can always just assume it's one. So it's going to be two times one. So it's going to be negative six divided by two, which is going to equal negative three. And that is our x value. Our x value is negative three. But we have to plug that in right here for f of x. So instead of f of x, we're going to solve for x of negative three because that's our x value, and we're going to plug it in. So up here we have x squared, so we, it's going to be negative 3 squared. And then we're going to add on to that our b value, which is 6x. So we're going to do 6 times our x, which is negative 3. And then we're going to plug in our, and then we're going to bring in our c, which is 3. And then we're just going to solve it. Negative 3 times negative, uh, square, negative 3 times negative 3, which is th negative 3 squared, is 9. And 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. And then we have 3. And we know that 9 plus negative 18, it's basically 18 minus 9, and it's going to give us negative 9 plus 3. And then negative 9 plus 3 is going to equal negative 6. So our answer, if we wanted to put it as an ordered pair, would be negative 3 comma negative 6. And our minimum, or our lowest value, would be negative 6, because that's the lowest it's going to go on the graph. And, and then all you got to do is draw your graph here, go neg 1, 2, 3 to negative 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 down. So we're going to go to negative 3, negative 6. That's where our vertex is going to be. And we know since this number up, this x squared is positive, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go up. And so our parabola will look something like that. So make sure you have the ordered pair and you drew your graph. It doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't need to look good. You can see my graph looks really bad, but just make sure you have both those things in your answer.